Hello everyone, this is David again, and today I'm gonna to tell you, just give you an overview of the uh, a vintage trailer, and so you can learn about the different components, and then further videos, I'll go more in depth about them. So last time we talked about, first thing you do is check for leaks and seal the roof. Now I wanna give you an overview of, of a vintage trailer. So these, this is a very standard trailer, so that's why I'm using it. Uh, and I'll just start from the front and go to the back and just jump around. So first thing is most of these have a two inch ball hitch trailer. Um, they have <clears throat> connectors for the lights. This one probably originally had the seven round and it has the four now. Um, you've got your, your chains, the breakaway chain. You've got your propane. Typically I always, um, when I go more in depth on the propane, I'll tell you more about that. Spare tire, this is your regulator for the propane. We'll move around. Um, this is the um, fill spout for the water tank that's inside underneath the um, the couch in there. And typically, there's a also a a drain underneath where you can drain the water from that tank. Um, going back, this is just a vent for the sink, and this is where the water on this one where the water comes out from the sink. This is your uh, city water connection where you hook water going into the trailer so you can have a hose hooked up. Uh, this one, this is your electric plug-in. So this is where you'd plug in your 110 to power the trailer. I will say on this, on most of these trailers, they have a uh, brakes, trailer brakes, and um, some work, some don't. We've had luck, about 50% luck on those. Let's think. <clears throat> okay, on most, many trailers have a bathroom. Underneath this side, the driver's side, you would find the pipes are to drain your sewage, which is called black water tank, and your gray water, which is just water from your sink and your bath. Um, so that would be under there. Let's see, going around the back. Let's go around this way. Um, this is the heater um, vent, and then you have a step usually that goes up in. This one happens to go back in if we wanted. So let's just go inside and give an overview of the inside. <clears throat> Again, this trailer is it's pretty standard for many trailers, although it doesn't have a bathroom. But let me just run you through some things. Um, in these trailers, you typically have um, power that runs off a battery, a 12 volt battery, but then also power. Oh, this is not plugged in. This trailer is not plugged in, but those lights would work off 110. Um, you have your sink. Um, a lot of them have a water pump underneath where the you can hear that underneath where the water tank is. Some of them have this hand pump. It's pretty cool. So if you don't have power, you can pump pump water. Uh, you've got your stove, your range hood, um, and an oven. These are, again, very standard. This one has a new fridge, an electric fridge, but most of the fridges that come with these are gas and electric, but they don't work very often. That's It's tough with that. And then you have your heater in here. This one actually happens to be a catalytic heater that was put in later. Usually they're a propane heater. Okay. Oh, I'll just say also, on a lot of these old trailers, they didn't have a fridge, but just an ice box. And so you can use dry ice to keep stuff clean. Okay. And then um, you've got a bunk up here, a, a bed, or a couch that pulls out into a bed. The front here, this table can go down into a bed and those cushions come in. Underneath here is the water tank. Underneath there is the battery. So here's, um, I'll talk about batteries and power more. So that's, that's an overview of the trailers, these old vintage trailers. And next time we'll talk about the different systems. Thanks and have a great day.